Hey everybody, Joe Haney here. I'm going to show you how to build a rustic garden tool shed. Here's our garden. This year we put in some raised beds uh, in the garden that will have uh, raspberries and fruit trees and that kind of thing. Further down there's a bigger vegetable garden. Uh, that needs to be put to bed for the fall and resurrected in the spring, put in a, a big vegetable garden. Uh, and to work on them, Linda asked if I could build a, a tool shed that would be nearby. And so the two of us went to work and, uh, and built this uh, little tool shed that looks kind of like a, an outhouse uh, and stores garden tools. That rustic look began with an old fence we tore down at my daughter's house. Uh, you can see the beautiful knots and weathered look on it. I initially used some of that old wood to build a crooked tree house that the grandkids uh, really enjoy and play in. We also built a cubby, we called it the fairy box, and we'd put some, hooked it up to a tree there, and uh, the kids love to poke in and see what the fairies left them. Uh, but with the boards that were left, we decided to build this uh, tool shed. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of pictures of the construction of this project, but I'll show you some and I'll uh, try and, and uh, fill you in on how it was done. The main thing that a project needs uh, is a good solid foundation. And so I took some four by four uh, lumber, some scrap lumber I had, and uh, cut it in pieces and made a build a uh, square, well it wasn't square actually, a 28 by 36 inch foundation uh, for it. And that required bolting these uh, boards together with six inch bolts. Linda spent some time helping me get the staples and the old screws out of the, the weathered boards. Then I built uh, side panels, four of them, uh, the last one of which was uh, used for the door. I uh, basically laid them out and put some cross pieces on them and uh, screwed those cross pieces in. Those cross pieces end up being the outside of the uh, wall. I a moon into a piece of plywood and screwed it to the back of the door. I kept the cut pieces from the door from falling out. Leveled the ground where I was going to put it and then drove in four one-foot nails at an angle after drilling the boards. I screwed the three side walls and the door to the base and then put a piece of corrugated tin up uh, over the top, screwed it down to a frame that I built along the top uh, and braced it to kind of hold it in place. And then put a hook on the door and had to dig a little bit of it uh, away so that the door could swing open uh, and let you in and out. I found a couple of old doorknobs uh, that I drilled a hole through the door and screwed together. And two solutions for holding the implements. One holds onto the handles and the other one are kind of two big forks that you hang the things over. I just screwed them to uh, some cross panels on the inside. I found those on Amazon and they were pretty cheap. Now when we need a garden tool, I can just come to the door and uh, undo the latch, open it up, and uh, find what we need, take it out to the garden, and uh, get some work done. Anyway, thanks for uh, listening and uh, taking a look. We had some fun building it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.